All right, guys, we finally made it on the lake. Uh, it's around 12 o'clock. Got up this morning getting everything ready. Trim my motor up, battery completely dead. And uh, so I put the charger on it, got here to the lake. Still wouldn't crank that motor up. I had to use a jump box from the marina, but uh, anyway, we're out here. I'm out here by myself today. Uh, Lisa had to go to Illinois for her dad. And uh, I've been out of commission for two months, guys. I, I had some surgery and uh, it's the first time I've been back out on the water, so hope we have some good luck today. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna slow us down a little bit. Unless he's hooked in the back. Pretty good sized perch. Take him all day long, y'all. That guy hooked the line too. That's why he felt so heavy. Oh. Quit it. Well, you weren't coming on. You was hooking the head. Wow. That's what we had for guys in big perch. Catch them all day long. I'll take them all day. Whew. Caught him on a chartreuse shad. And that is a, a BBO chartreuse shad. Bud Banks Outdoors. I made that chartreuse shad. That's right. We're fishing some new rods, guys. We got the Shimano FX rods. And uh, they're a pretty nice rod, man. To be a cheap rod, um, these are seven foot, they're two piece, which I, I prefer one piece. And they got a fast tip on them with a, some backbone on them for medium for uh, trolling. Um, we, we fishing the Bandit 300 cranks and we're fishing the uh, Deltum Custom crank, which this is one in a chartreuse shad color. And we're still fishing the Zebco 33 classics, y'all. Hey, this is a nice combo for trolling, just like what we're doing, guys. And you can see, we've been putting fish in the boat. I don't know about today, but Lisa and I, we've been putting them in there in the past. So, hey, check them out. Don't put a lot of money in. God, man, Lord. Must have been a big old tree, a log. Couldn't break it free. Cutting my fingers. That eight pound vicious. Whoo! That line don't break it very easy. I don't know what's going on. That line's got a fish on it. Got a fish on it, guys. That's right, had a fish on it. Didn't even know it. Oh, big crappy. Take him in slowly. Baby, get in the net. Ooh, put that. Nah, he ain't that big. He gets off, he gets off. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. Guys, call him on another Bud Banks Outdoors crankbait. That's right. You weren't getting off by it. Yes, sir. Look at that. Nice one. Going through the house. Bud Banks Outdoors, Chartreuse Shed, blue and silver. While I was recovering from uh, surgery, y'all, man, I'm bored to death. I'm usually a guy that does quite a bit of stuff and uh, just sitting around and resting like you're told to do is unbelievable. But, uh, I thought I'd get some uh, some blanks on the uh, crankbaits and paint them myself and buy some hooks and some uh, little uh, little rings or whatever and put them together and just see what they'll do. And you can see, last two fish, Bud Banks Outdoors crankbaits. That's right. Uh, I had to sell some, keep catching them. 
Another white bass on the uh, uh, Delta Custom crankshaft. He ain't big. Must have been strong. Surrey, but he's a fish. Band of 300 short true shed, y'all. Nah, he's a he's a eater. I'm gonna put him in the box. Oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, baby. Where you at? Is that a big crappy? Get a net on this one. Where you at? I never got to see it guys. Got my hands full here. I'm trying to keep us off the bank. Guys, he weren't coming off. Nice little eater bass. We're gonna throw him back, y'all. 2.30. 2.30, everybody. I'm gonna try to run through that one more time and troll back. Let's see. We caught some decent crap here right in there this time of year. Doing that last little minute troll before we head back and uh, you can catch a nice one in there. Give it one more shot. Won't get them thrown back out, y'all. Back in the water. I'm gonna shoot right back through that lower area. Oh yeah. Got another nice fish here, y'all. I don't know what it is, coming to the top. Like I said, crappy. Could be a bass. Swimming at the boat. Still got him, y'all. I don't know what it is yet. Ah. 
Got a little bass. Got a little bass, y'all. Got them on the old Chinese lure. Blue and silver. Wow, he was barely hooked. Chinese lure. Blue and silver, y'all. Throw them back. All right, well, caught that little pound and a half bass. Hey, something's better than nothing, right? Even if it's the wrong thing you're fishing for. I'm trying to catch some taco meat. Banks outdoor chartreuse shed, y'all. That's right. That's right. Put him in the box. Don't know if y'all can see it well. Bandit 300 chartreuse shed, y'all. Wow. Got like all kind of messed up. Pretty nice white perch going in the box. Right, the old Chinese lure, y'all. Chinese lure, blue back, silver bottom. That's the one I copied when I did the BBO. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. We, we got a box full of fish, and uh, I'm tired. This is the most I've done in over two months. So, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of chaotic a little bit, but I'm by myself. and. Hopefully at least I have a safe travels back tomorrow. And uh, hey, till next time y'all, later.